Arsenal forward clapped onto pitch by Tottenham fans in pre-season friendly. Tottenham fans put North London rivalries aside to welcome Arsenal's Bakayo Saka back to domestic duties for the first time since Euro 2020. Saka's introduction into Arsenal's 1-0 pre-season defeat at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium was his first appearance since he was racially abused after missing a penalty in England's shootout defeat by Italy in the final. With no away fans for any of the Mind Series matches, the Spurs fans gave Saka a warm ovation as he replaced skipper Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Tottenham fans also displayed a banner which read, North London stands with Bakayo Saka and all players against racism and discrimination. Saka almost scored as well but new Tottenham goalkeeper Pierluigi Gollini kept out the 19-year-old's low shot. After Dele Alli had twice hit a post from close range, Sun Hung Min secured victory for the hosts 10 minutes from time when he drove home from Jaffet Tanganga's layoff. Saka's England teammate Ben White made his first start for the Gunners but Harry Kane was missing for the hosts. Tottenham boss Nuno Espirito Santo later confirmed Kane was isolating at the club's training ground and hopes to speak to him, socially distanced, on Monday. Nuno also refused to talk about about Inter Milan's £60 million rated striker Lautaro Martinez, who Tottenham are trying to sign. Harry is with us. He has to quarantine. He's in the lodge, but he's training. He already had the first day with the sports scientists. He's with us, said the former Wolves boss. I didn't speak today because today was a match, but we have a training session tomorrow. Hopefully, socially distanced, I will speak with Harry. On Martinez, he added, I won't speak about any player. I will speak only about my players, Tottenham players, nothing else. Arsenal midfielder Joe Willock, who has been linked with a move to Newcastle, was absent for the Gunners on Sunday, with manager Mikel Arteta refusing to comment on his future. We will explain the reasons when we can, said the Spaniard. It's all I can say now, when I can say more I will let you know. Elsewhere, Danny Ings scored on his debut as Aston Villa came from behind to beat Serie A newcomers Salernitana at Villa Park. Ings, a £25 million signing from Southampton, cancelled out Joel Obi's opener before Anwar El Ghazi's penalty put Villa 2-1 up at half-time. Former England international Ashley Young, who rejoined the club earlier this summer, wrapped up the victory in the second half. Dean Smith's side opened their campaign at newly promoted Watford on Saturday. Source. BBC Sport, by Simon Stone, BBC Sport. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.